Welcome back to our channel, where we explore fascinating global developments that shape our world. In today's video, we will dive into the top 10 mega projects in Africa that have been financed by Russia, leaving the United States in awe. These projects demonstrate Russia's growing influence and investment in the African continent, paving the way for new opportunities and partnerships. So, if you're curious to learn about these remarkable initiatives that are making waves in Africa, then stay tuned. Number 10, the Ouagadougou-Zinier Highway. The Ouagadougou-Zinier Highway is a 35.2 km two-lane highway that connects the capital city of Ouagadougou to the town of Zinier. It is the most traveled highway in Burkina Faso and is an important economic artery for the country. The highway was constructed in the early 1990s and was funded by the World Bank and the African Development Bank. It was designed to improve transportation links between Ouagadougou and the rest of the country and to promote economic development in the region. The highway has had a significant impact on the economy of Burkina Faso. It has made it easier for businesses to transport goods and services and has helped to attract investment to the country. Number 9, the Ouagadougou-Touguri Highway. The Ouagadougou-Touguri Highway is a 150-kilometer highway that will connect Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso, to Touguri, the capital of the center-est region. The highway is being constructed by a consortium of Chinese companies and is expected to be completed in 2025. The highway will be a two-lane highway with a width of 7.5 meters per lane. The highway will also have a shoulder width of 2.5 meters on each side. The highway will be constructed on a new alignment and will not pass through any existing villages or towns. The highway will be a major improvement over the current road between Ouagadougou and Tuguri, which is a narrow, winding road that is often in poor condition. The new highway will reduce travel time between the two cities by half and will make it easier and safer for people and goods to travel between the two regions. Number 8, the Ouagadougou-Kaya Highway. The Ouagadougou-Kaya Highway is a 100-kilometer highway that is currently under construction in Burkina Faso. It will connect Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso, to Kaya, the capital of the center nord region. The highway is expected to be completed in 2025 and will reduce travel time between the two cities by half. The highway is being constructed by a Chinese company called China Road and Bridge Corporation. The project is costing approximately $270 million and is being funded by the Chinese government and the Burkina Faso government. The highway will be a two-lane highway with a width of 7.5 meters. It will have a paved surface and will be equipped with shoulders and drainage systems. The highway will also have several bridges and culverts. Number 7, the Ouagadougou Conference Center. The Ouagadougou Conference Center is a new conference center that is being constructed in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. The center is being designed by the French architectural firm Caldify and Associates Architects Urbanists. The center is inspired by the calabash, a traditional African fruit that is used as a water vessel and a symbol of hospitality. The center will consist of three main buildings, the conference room, the banquet room, and the VIP block. The conference room will have a capacity of 5,000 people and will be equipped with state-of-the-art audiovisual and conferencing equipment. The banquet room will have a capacity of 1,000 people and will be used for banquets, receptions, and other events. The VIP block will house the offices of the center staff and will also provide accommodation for VIP guests. The Ouagadougou Conference Center is expected to be completed in 2024. The center is expected to boost the country's economy and attract more international conferences and events to Burkina Faso. Number 6, the Ouagadougou Olympic Stadium. The Ouagadougou Olympic Stadium is a new Olympic stadium that is being constructed in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. The stadium will have a capacity of 40,000 seats and will be used for the 2023 African Games. The stadium is expected to be completed in 2023. The stadium is being constructed by a Chinese company and is funded by a loan from the Chinese government. The stadium is located on a 100-hectare site on the outskirts of Ouagadougou. The stadium will have a variety of features, including a state-of-the-art athletics track, a FIFA-approved football pitch, and a swimming pool. The stadium will also have a media center, a press center, and a doping control center. The stadium is being designed to be environmentally friendly and will use solar energy to power its lights and other systems. The stadium will also have a rainwater harvesting system to collect water for irrigation and other purposes. Number 5, the Ouagadougou Railway Station. The Ouagadougou Railway Station is a new railway station that is being constructed in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. 
The station is being built by the Burkina Faso Railways Company and is expected to be completed in 2024. The new station will be a major transportation hub for Burkina Faso and will connect Ouagadougou to other cities in Burkina Faso and to neighboring countries. The station will have a capacity of 500 passengers per hour and will be equipped with all the latest amenities, including a waiting room, a ticket office, a luggage storage facility, and a restaurant. The new station will also be a major boost for the economy of Burkina Faso. The station is expected to create thousands of jobs and will help to promote tourism and trade in the country. Number 4, the Zagtuli Solar Power Plant. The Zagtuli Solar Power Plant is a 33-megawatt solar power plant located in Zagtuli, Burkina Faso. It is the largest solar power plant in West Africa and was commissioned in November 2017. The plant was developed by Sejulec, an electricity engineering firm headquartered in Paris, France. It is owned and operated by the Société Nationale d'Electricité du Burkina Faso, the national electricity company of Burkina Faso. The Zagtuli solar power plant comprises 129,600 solar panels, each rated at 260 watts. The plant is capable of generating 56 gigawatts hours of electric energy annually. The power generated at this plant is sold to Sonabel, for integration in the national power grid. The energy produced here costs 45 CFA francs per kilowatt hour. Number 3, the Beggar Dam Expansion. The Beggar Dam Expansion is a major project that will increase the capacity of the Beggar Dam to generate electricity and provide irrigation for agriculture. The dam is located on the White Volta River in Burkina Faso and was originally built in 1992. The expansion project includes the construction of a new dam and the rehabilitation of the existing dam. The new dam will be 8 meters higher than the existing dam and will have a capacity of 7 billion cubic meters of water. The rehabilitation of the existing dam will include the construction of new spillways and the reinforcement of the dam's walls. The expansion project is expected to be completed in 2025 and will cost an estimated $280 million. The project is being financed by the African Development Bank, the World Bank, and the French Development Agency. Number 2, the Ouagadougou Bobo Dialasso Highway. The Ouagadougou Bobo Dialasso Highway is a 210 km highway that will connect the two largest cities in Burkina Faso, Ouagadougou, the capital, and Bobo Dialasso, the second largest city. The highway is being constructed by the Chinese company China State Construction Engineering Corporation and is expected to be completed in 2024. The highway will be a four lane highway with two lanes in each direction. It will have a speed limit of 120 km per hour. The highway will also have several safety features, including guardrails, median barriers, and rumble strips. Number 1, the Ouagadougou International Airport. The Ouagadougou International Airport expansion is a major project that will increase the airport's capacity to handle up to 5 million passengers per year. The project includes the construction of a new terminal, a new runway, and a new control tower. The expansion is expected to be completed in 2025. The new terminal will be a two-story building with a total area of 25,000 square meters. It will have 10 boarding gates, 12 check-in counters, and a baggage handling system that can handle up to 1,200 bags per hour. The terminal will also have several amenities for passengers, including a food court, a duty-free shop, and a business center. The new runway will be 3,500 meters long and 60 meters wide. It will be able to accommodate all types of aircraft, including wide-body jets. The runway will also have a new taxiway system and an apron that can accommodate up to 10 aircraft. The new control tower will be 30 meters high and will provide air traffic controllers with a 360-degree view of the airport. The tower will also be equipped with the latest technology to help air traffic controllers manage traffic safely and efficiently. As we conclude our exploration of the top 10 mega projects in Africa, financed by Russia, it becomes evident that these ventures have not only transformed the African landscape but also caught the attention of global players, including the United States. The strategic investments made by Russia have opened doors for economic growth, technological advancements, and increased cooperation between Russia and African nations. In light of these developments, it is imperative for us to closely monitor and assess the long-term implications of these projects. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for our channel. 
Don't miss out on our upcoming videos that delve into the fascinating dynamics between nations and the transformative projects shaping our future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.